Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial on trigonometric equations. We have our problem here. Given that 0 degree less than x less than 360 degrees, solve the trigonometric equation 9 sine square theta minus 2 sine theta minus 2 plus cos square theta equals 0. So we start the solution of the problem. So we have the problem here. We are going to use trigonometric identities to substitute either sine square theta or cos square theta. We know that sine square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1. We either make sine square theta or cos square theta the subject of this identity. In this situation, it is better to make cos square theta the subject of the identity since every other thing will now be in sine. In that case, we have cos square theta is equal to 1 minus sine square theta. If sine square theta goes to the right hand side, it becomes minus. So that we now go back to the original equation so that wherever we see cos square theta, we substitute in 1 minus sine square theta. So we have 9 sine square theta minus 2 sine theta minus 2, then plus 1 minus sine square theta equals 0. We have the option of collecting the like terms, but what I will do now is I will let sine theta be equal to x so that wherever we see sine theta we put x so in this case we are going to have 9x squared minus 2x minus 2 plus 1 then minus x squared is equal to 0 so we can then collect the like terms 9x squared minus x squared gives 8x squared then this is the only term with x so we have it as minus 2x minus 2 plus 1 gives minus 1 equals 0. We then go ahead to solve the quadratic equation. The equation can be solved by factorization. So I'll factorize and then get my values of x. So if you factor out this, we are going to have 2x minus 1, 4x plus 1 is equal to zero please check our channel to view our videos on factorization so that here now 2x minus 1 is equal to zero 4x plus 1 is equal to zero then in that case now if you solve this we have x is equal to 0 0.5 since if you take this to this side it becomes plus 1 dividing it by 2 1 divided by 2 gives 0 0.5. This one, if you bring it to the right hand side, becomes minus 1. Minus 1 divided by 4 gives negative 0 0.25. So we have the second value of x to be negative 0 0.25. We then go ahead to substitute back our sine theta with the values of x. So that we now have sine theta is equal to 0 0.5 since x is 0 0.5 sine theta is equal to negative 0 0.25 we go straight now to get the values of theta which is within 0 degrees and 360 degrees we're going to look at the trigonometric ratios of the unit circle um, this is the first quadrant all that is sine cosine and tangent of acute angles there are all positive here is only sine that is positive in the second quadrant in this quadrant the angle is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180 degrees that is obtuse angle and in the third quadrant it is only tangent that is positive all other ratios are negative so and here the theta is greater than 180 degrees but less than 270 
Then for the fourth quadrant, it is only cosine that is positive. Others are negative. In this case, the angle is greater than 270 degrees but less than 360 degrees. So for sine theta is equal to 0 0.5, this is positive, which means we are going to be focusing our values of theta from the first quadrant and the second quadrant. So starting from the first quadrant, we find our theta 1, that is the first value of theta, to be sine inverse of 0 0.5. If you press this from our calculator, we have the first value of theta to be 30 degrees. That's for the first quadrant. Then we go to the second quadrant. We said sine is also positive. Theta is greater than 90 degrees but less than 180. To get the second value of theta, we are going to see 180 minus 30 degrees. It is not 90 plus 30 degrees but 180 minus 30 degrees and that gives the second value of theta to be 150 degrees. That's all for the values of theta for which sine theta is equal to 0 0.5. Then for sine theta is equal to negative 0 0.25, um, that is going to give us the third and the fourth quadrants because here sine is negative the fourth quadrant sign is also negative. So we start with the third quadrant. Before we go further, we are going to find theta naught. Finding theta naught is not connected to the values of theta 1, theta 2, and the other values of theta we are going to look for. But it will enable us to get the third and the fourth theta from the third and fourth quadrant respectively. So what we do here now is just to remove the negative sign here so that our theta naught will be sine inverse of 0 0.25. From our calculator, we have it as 14.47 degrees. This is what we are going to now use to calculate the values of theta in third and fourth quadrant. So we now go with the third value of theta. In the third quadrant, theta is greater than 180 degrees. Therefore, we are going to add 14.47 to 180 degrees to give us the third value of theta. And that gives 194.47 degrees. Then also for the fourth quadrant, we get our fourth value of theta. In that case, the value of theta is greater than 270 but less than 360 degrees. What we we'll do here now is to subtract 14.47 from 360 to get the fourth value of the theta. So we now have 360 minus 14.47 degrees, which gives 345.53 degrees giving us the fourth value of theta so with this we've done justice to this problem by finding the values of theta which lie between zero degrees and 360 degrees please for your information these values satisfy this equation that is to say if you put in the value of theta to be 30 degrees here you are meant to have zero or if you come here put sine 30 degrees in your calculator you get 0 0.5 in the same way put sine 150 degrees you are going to have 0 0.5 the same thing for the third value of theta which is 194.47 degrees the sign of this angle we give you approximately negative 0.25 as well as sine 345.53 degrees. So that's the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and share this video.
Until we come your way again, goodbye.